Well, good morning. It's Saturday morning and we are waking up, drinking some coffee. We're about to have breakfast and we've got some stuff planned today. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. You'll see what's happening if you watch the vlog, but it should be interesting. It should be a great weekend. I am super excited because I don't have to work. Last weekend I had to work on Saturday, so it really takes away from the weekend and I didn't get to enjoy it as much as I will this weekend. Plus, daylight savings time ends, well, early tomorrow morning. So we actually get an extra hour. So not only do I have an extra day, but I have an extra hour. So it's awesome. It's like the best weekend ever. Harvey, do you smell breakfast? You smell that yummy breakfast mama just cooked up. Look at all that yumminess. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always good on the weekend because Cheryl cooks breakfast. Well, we both cook breakfast. We have our different jobs. Cheryl does the eggs and if we have potatoes and today we have sausage and I do the bacon. That's my job. So we share the work, but it's great because I don't definitely don't eat breakfast like this every day. This is only for the weekends on, uh, Breakfast for the week for me is basically yogurt, if I, if I do it, a little thing of yogurt. So this is a treat. She does a great job with breakfast. So thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Thanks for helping me every morning. You're welcome. I wish I could do it every day. Harvey just came in from doing his potties out in the backyard. You ready to go to the vet, Harvey? You're gonna get some shots and a checkup. Yeah, see how you're doing. You ready to go? You want to go bye byes? We're in the waiting room waiting for Harvey's vet appointment. He sees this cute little doggy leaving. He's like, Come back here. I want to play with you. The dog was so cute. But yeah, Harvey, you know, he wants to check all the other dogs out. Harvey's vet appointment is over. We're just waiting for them to finalize the paperwork so we can leave. But Harvey's like, let's get out of here. Harvey is healthy and doing really well. We're back home now. We're just relaxing on the couch. We're signed up for shift hours. We have uh, three more hours left. We'll see if we get anything. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So far, it's been uh, pretty, very slow. Pretty non-existent. It's been a slow week. So, yeah, we're just uh, hanging out, waiting. We're yeah. gonna make some lunch now. I'm hungry. You hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Figure out what we're gonna eat. So, if we get a job, we're not going out working on an empty tummy. Right. For lunch, I'm having leftovers from last night's dinner, hot dog casserole. We are both back after doing one job. Mm -hmm. Two jobs. Shipped strong. Yeah. So, <laughs> we, we, uh, I did a 29 product order and actually customer added an item, so 30. Mine was six, small, easy. Yeah. It was so fun. It was good. Yeah. And good thing we signed up for an extra hour because that's when we got our jobs. Mm -hmm. We didn't get nothing from earlier. So I'm glad we did that. Yeah. One to three didn't work out, but three to four did. Yep. So that was awesome. That was good. And now we're just uh, waiting for stuff to come up in Metro and see if there's any more to do before dinner time. For dinner tonight, it's chicken and some noodles and vegetables that. Cheryl cooked up. We've never had it before. All right, so we are going to try cupcake Moscato, and we had somebody recommend it on the channel. Nancy, so, hi! Thanks, Nancy. Yeah. We're gonna try it. Well, I don't know if it's thanks yet, but... Well, thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, I'm sure we're gonna like it. I'm sure one of the different things about this uh, wine is when Cheryl was pouring it just a second ago, there were bubble, bubbles, so it's kind of effervescent. Sparkly a little bit. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of fizz kind of I wasn't on. expecting that. Different, yeah. but uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So here's to Saturday night. I love you. I love you too. Cheers, Nancy. Cheers. Wow. That's really good. I like it. That's 
really tasty. It's like a treat wine. It mm. is. I mean, Moscato is sweet. Thumbs up. This is very sweet, uh, like a dessert wine. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, um, yeah, I, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, this is like a treat wine every now and then. Kind of expensive, but worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. It was like ten dollars for the bottle. It's a treat. Yeah. But we'll, we'll be getting this again. This is really good. Yeah. So thank so, you, Nancy, thank for you. sharing that with us. Yeah, we appreciate that. We do. We love trying new stuff, whether we like it or not. It's fun. Because we would have never thought to try this unless you brought it to my attention. So we thank you. Happy Sunday morning to you all. I just got home from Kroger. I had to grab a couple of things. Um, Steve has already done two ship jobs this morning and it's almost 11.15 and he has another one to do after that. And I don't know if he's gonna do any more today beyond that, um, but they're pretty easy jobs. As for myself, I have bad allergies today. Teary-eyed, I already took my medicine before I went to the store. Still no improvement, I still feel the same, so. We had some storms off and on over the past couple days, mostly during the nighttime, so might have stirred stuff up in the air. Um, I don't know if I'll take any jobs this afternoon. We have plans this evening, so hopefully I'm feeling better by then. Um, but if I don't do any jobs today, that's okay. I'm just gonna try and feel better and get out of this allergy mess. So Steve should be home in a little bit and we'll figure out what we're gonna do for lunch. The essentials that I needed to get from Kroger this morning is some more Kleenex, because my allergies, I used the last one this morning. And then yesterday, you guys, I was cleaning out my bathtub so I can take baths and relax with my bath salts and my bath bubbles, and it's all backed up. So we're gonna take care of that problem today, so we'll be all good to go. And then I needed some more beef broth for the brisket for tomorrow night's dinner, so I can get that cooked up. And then Ryan needed some more maple sausage for his breakfasts. It's been a long day of ship shopping for one of us. <laughs> My allergies started to feel better, so I found a job at Metro that was easy. But Steve was the busy one today for sure. Go ahead and tell him about your day, honey. Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. I actually did five jobs. Started out with one I grabbed yesterday for this morning, which I did that um, before breakfast, came back home, and then the order started coming in. So I grabbed a couple, uh, one in Metro, and then one that was offered to me. And then while I was out, I got another one offered to me, took it, then took myself off the schedule. But right before I started the last order, I got another one at the same uh, time frame, same store, so uh, I actually did a double order the same hour. So it's the first time I ever did it, I was a little bit nervous. Um, just something that takes a lot of focus, keeping everything separated and um, definitely you know a little more little more involved with it but i'm glad i did it it had to be perfect as far as the number of items how close the delivery locations were that the customers but um, it worked out and i was super happy it was very stressful while i was in the store shopping it but um after i was it was over it's like I, I can do this so it was fun Steve and I are heading out for a dinner date night. We ended up going to the Keg Steakhouse, and right now we're having some water with lemon. The Caesar salad is really delicious. Their house salads are pretty good as well. They have really delicious bread and homemade butter. I had the filet mignon and a baked potato with butter. Steve had prime rib and garlic mashed potatoes. On our way home, you guys, this beautiful sunset on our way back to Fort Worth. We are finished up for the weekend. It's been a packed weekend. Lots of shipped work. Um, some great breakfasts and great dinner tonight at the keg. So we're wrapping it up. Um, one of the things that we wanted to talk about was the dog rocks. We have been using these for probably a few months 
and you put one of these rocks in your dog's water bowl. The one thing you have to do is make sure that they drink out of the water bowl. And it's supposed to help with the spots where if the dog pees on the grass, it burns it. Um, and it seems to be working, but you might want to check it out if you have problems like that. It's something that you might look into. Um, you just have to make sure that the dog drinks out of the bowl with the rocks. Bella likes to drink out of the pool. Has no rocks. So we have to watch her and try to stop her from doing that, which isn't always easy. So anyway, we're glad that you watched our vlog this weekend. Hope that you um, enjoyed watching us. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. You don't want to miss out on anything that happens. And we will see you next time.